Why are my hands always so dirty in these videos? Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. So here we have the differential for a Jaguar IRS. Unlike your typical rear end, it gets solid mounted. So you would think setting the pinion angle would be simple. You measure the angle of the transmission, see how much it's sloping down, and then you set the differential to match, angling it up, solid mount it, and away we go. Sadly, it's not that simple. So this is a differential out of an XJ6. When it's sitting flat on the bench, your mounts for your lower control arms are parallel to the ground. And at that configuration, the pinion angle is zero. Now we can change the angle on this. We can just simply lift the snout, change the angle. As soon as that stops moving, it's gonna be right around five degrees, the typical down angle of a transmission. But now we are no longer parallel with the road. There's almost a half an inch of difference between this point and this point in relationship to the surface. So that means with this tilted up, as the suspension is going through its travel, it's going to be traveling backwards. Now at five degrees, that's probably not a huge change, but it is going to shorten and lengthen your wheelbase. Now for some people, that's not gonna be an issue because as leaf springs compress, they typically move the differential ever so slightly. So really it's a zero effect. I mean, if we're going from a regular rear end to an independent rear suspension, we're still having the same issue, so it's really not that big of a deal. But with a Jaguar independent rear suspension, you can make it so that the suspension does indeed travel perpendicular to the road. And if you can do that, why wouldn't you? Because it's going to make a much better setup. So from a practical standpoint, making the lower control arm move perpendicular to the road would be as simple as raising this end just a little bit and lowering this end just a little bit. The problem is these holes are preset and that's not something you could easily accomplish. Now one could custom make this bracket and that would allow them to set their lower control arm perpendicular to the road and still maintain a five degree pinion angle. But there is a much simpler solution. This is the bracket from an XKE Jaguar rear end and its holes are drilled in a different location. If you look at this picture, you can see a comparison between the two. The reason these holes are in a different spot is when mounted up, it gives you the five degree angle at the pinion and it eliminates the angle at the lower control arm. So we now have the five degrees at the pinion, but the lower control arm will be moving perpendicular to the road. So here we have it with the XKE brackets installed. You can now see that the pinion is tilting up and it looks like we're getting just a hair over five degrees, right at six degrees. So that is a simple solution to be able to get your pinion angle much closer to your transmission angle and still have everything mount up correctly and have the lower control arms move perpendicular to the road. Check out my website, www.dayscars.com. In the tech pages, there are at least seven pages detailing this project and all the work that I did to put the JAG IRS underneath my Mustang. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.